morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. Oh, well, it's uh, been a big few days here as I moved, so I appreciate everyone being so patient. Um, but that also inspired today's Coffee with Colby, talking about radical shifts, radical moves, because a lot of us are experiencing these major life changes right now, right as we speak, okay? So there's been a lot of relationship changes, job changes, major shifts that people are experiencing at this time. And this is important because these shifts really actually take us to the next level, even though they're fearful, even though they make us worried. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Julie. Hi, Clayton. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Lee. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um, so as we go through life, we have a tendency to want to hold on. We have a tendency to want to stay just where we are, right? Good morning, Tina. Hi, Bree. Hello. Hi, Deborah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Jill. Oh, so many friends coming in. So many friends today. Hello, Julie. Okay. So we have a tendency to want to stay where we are, right? That's your comfort zone. You're used to it. You have things right in the place that you know where to grab them, right? But when we move, when we shift, when things change, it also changes up the routine. It changes uh, the placement of things, right? How you're used to your routine now changes, now shifts. You have to kind of experience uh, the growing pains. And a lot of us have a hard time with that. A lot of us struggle with change in itself. But these radical moves, these radical shifts are the universe's way of aligning you to your new vibration. All right. Not the current, not the one where it's keeping you where you are, but the one that you're shifting to the next level. Don't be afraid of the next level. Yes, we don't know what's in it. Yes, we don't know if we're going to survive that next level, right? We want to. We want to believe it's going to be okay. But there's that fear behind it. And you have to take those leaps of faith. You have to because they help you grow. And when you're in that new vibration, when you're in that shift, then even more abundance, more opportunity can come to you. Sometimes there's great pain. Sometimes you know, those deep, meaningful relationships or what you thought were deep, meaningful relationships drop out or people drop out or, you know, you may get fired unexpectedly or laid off for COVID or whatever the reason, right? These experiences make you feel as if you're getting a big old setback or that you're failing or that things aren't going right, right? That's what we tell ourselves. That's what we tell ourselves. Yet that's not the reality. That's not the truth of it. You're not failing, all right? You're not failing. Spirit is removing what is no longer serving the highest good, shifting you to the next vibration, creating that radical move. Um, absolutely, you know, getting out of a toxic relationship is one of the most difficult things ever because it's an addiction, <laughs> we are addicted like a toxic relationship is an addiction that we have to kind of break that addiction and so it is hard because you know there may be some anxiety some abuse in it some manipulation in it and all of that is you breaking free so look at your life where is that next radical shift sometimes you can plan it and sometimes you can't sometimes the universe is enough's enough and they just create that change and that shift for you. But those shifts are here to help you. Those shifts are here. Think of it as a step, a ladder. They're taking you up, all right? So even though you might have a temporary down, you might have a temporary backwards, if you keep trusting and keep surrendering and keep knowing that there's a goodness behind it, that there's a positiveness behind it, you'll then start to see yourself moving forward. So it might be like a little bit of a slide backwards or slide down, 
and then it may be a huge push forward and then you'll be there for a bit but don't remain complacent in your life all right keep shifting keep moving keep that vibration up right let's do our vibration ups there you go there you go it helps with the fat under here vibration ups everyone so even when you're feeling down, even when you're feeling lost, even when you're feeling like nothing is going right and you cannot stand another day, vibration up. Just there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Oh, good coffee too. The coffee tastes better here. <laughs> Must be the water. Um, all right, so... There you go. That is your Coffee with Colby for today. Listen, some exciting news. Uh, this Sunday, I am doing an online mediumship event with Dominic Vogue. Dominic is an international medium. I am excited to work with him. It's the first time ever I have worked with this man. Um, but very grateful, very excited. The tickets are right on my Facebook. You can get the link. Very excited about that. I've got the two development circles coming up. So if you're a beginner or an intermediate to advance, come join me. Oh, listen, great things, great things. Um, passion to purpose. Talk about being lost. Talk about what's my next step. Talk about how you find your purpose or your passion. Take the passion to purpose workshop. I am beyond excited. It's on the 15th. You got to come hang out. We're going to have some exercises. We're going to help you hone in on what your gifts are. What are your natural gifts? Okay. So this is where we are with it. So passion, the purpose, the pond and beyond. We've got the circles coming up this Thursday night. Dominic is going to be on air with me. So don't miss that one in the morning for that man. And he is going to be on uh, the show with me, the Colby rebel show. So very excited. Anyhow, everybody, thank you for all your love. Yes, this is the new place, Catherine. I'll, we'll take a tour. Maybe if I, once I get everything settled, we will take a tour of the new house. <laughs> but for all my peeps in LA, for all the peeps in LA, the, this, this back patio, can you see that little, my little back patio right there? Um, that little back patio is the same street as the Colby Rebel Spirit Center. So literally right there, you can't two minute drive, five minute walk. So anyhow, everybody, lots of love to you. I know some of you are struggling right now. I know some of you are just looking for a little bit of a break, a little bit of something that just kind of lets up a little bit, but just hang in there, hang in there, everybody. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Lots of love. Remember, shine your light and shine it bright. Feel free to share. See you next week. Bye, everybody.